My name is Julie Pashkas, and I'm a children's book illustrator and author in Seattle. I was really lucky to grow up in a really creative household where everybody was making things all the time, and it was just part of life. I went and lived in Norway for a year before I went to college. I had always been a really verbal person, and there I didn't speak the language when I first got there, and so I couldn't talk a whole lot. And that's when I started getting more into art and realizing that it was pretty much the core of who I was and what I did. And when I came back to this country a year later, I changed my path towards a path of art. When I first started, I struggled with taking myself seriously and I could never say like, I'm an artist. I would just stumble over those words. It felt false. I know I learned a lot about how to be an artist from my husband. He always put his own art front and center and I watched him do that and I was like, oh, this is how you take what you're doing seriously. You you put it first and then, then it grows because you've put yourself in a situation where you can grow and change and you've said this is important. Things hit you so strongly when you're a child. Emotions are more intense, happier happies, unhappier sadnesses. The sort of visceral sense that you get looking at a color. The books I loved as a child furnished the inside of my brain with those super strong images and feelings. Now I'm an adult, I don't feel things with that same childhood intensity, but it's my true hope that I can reach children the way I was touched by their books. Whether you're illustrating your own book or illustrating someone else's book, you want to put something in the art that isn't just a literal description of what the words are. So if, a, if an author writes, there was a cat under a tree, you would draw a cat under a tree, but you would also maybe have a face hidden in the tree or a bird in the tree or bring something that enriches the story that the words, the picture can bring that the words can't bring. I don't just have one way that all my pictures look. I tend to change them to go with the book. Things that are exciting to me that don't have to do with the book, I bring them into the book. I think everyone's good and bad qualities are often the same things. <laughs> and I think one of the things that's really taken me far is that I'm kind of rash. Like I just kind of say, let it rip and try all kinds of new things and generally say yes to everything that comes through my head. I think, well, yeah, I'll do that. I will do things like make art that's all a wall of bread or a quilt that's 17 feet tall or anything that I think would be cool, I'll try it. What I want as an artist and as a person is to stay open and be open to being scared and be open to making mistakes and to sort of continually approach things as a newcomer. I feel incredibly lucky that I have a life where I get to do something that's meaningful and do it every day. Years ago, I, I did a book and it got really good reviews and got all kinds of attention. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna win this big prize for the book and I didn't. And I was really disappointed. And then I was walking along and I thought, you know what? I've already won the prize. My prize is that I get to do the work. This is the prize. The other stuff is gravy. But really, the prize is to get to keep doing the work over and over. <laughs>